Before you get started using the Crumble in the classroom, you'll just need to make sure that you've downloaded the latest version of the Crumble software on your computer and the computers that your students are going to use, which will also need to have um, a USB input and the Crumble software is available to download on the Redfern website. Now, when you start setting up the Crumble and everything that goes with it, I think if you look at page eight in the student guide, it's really important that you follow the diagrams, which are actually really good. So uh, what we've got here is a crumble board. We've connected it up to the battery pack, and it's really important as well to make sure that you actually turn it on so there's a green light. Otherwise, nothing's gonna happen. So make sure that you turn on the battery pack. That's probably one of the most common reasons that people's equipment doesn't work. Um, and initially, if you just set up one of the sparkles, again, just pay attention that you should have, um, on this one here, we've got the red and the black leads that actually provide power to that light, and the green, crocodile clip in this case is connected to the bottom near where it says D and that shows we've got some data which is going to and from that. So if you set it up in this configuration what you can then do is write your very simple bit of code on the on the software and the other thing that people t sometimes forget to do is actually plug in their crumble to the computer so they might write the code but they need to make sure they send it to the board. Um, so the USB thing just plugs in and just very simply, if you, uh, we're going to set sparkle zero to red. Sparkle zero is your first sparkle. And if you just press play, then the sparkle should come on. So we can now see that the sparkle is working, that this is talking to the computer. And then you can go ahead and actually start some more advanced programming. We've also included in the box a A4 uh, cardboard crumble board, which might be a useful way to show your students in a classroom perhaps, uh, how the crumble setup is. So the top section is for power. The middle section is for your input and output. So in the situation, in the case that we just saw, that was for the sparkle. But that could also be your buzzer, your switches. Um, and if you download the Redfern Getting Started Guide, it explains all that in a lot of detail there. And then the last section is for motors. So coming into this as a teacher who hadn't taught coding to students, I suspect your, your students will probably know a lot of this already depending on the class that you've got, but I found um, the student guide was really useful, but also the Redfern thing, it allowed me to actually learn quite a lot in a short space of time, and I really would recommend that you have a go at the activities before the students, so you know a little bit more than them so you can actually help them out when it comes to starting to program their own devices. And as always, uh, all of our resources are available to download for free on our resource hub.